When you came here, you told me Allah is one God, correct? Yes. All right. And you said to me, Allah, he declared he have no partner, correct? Yes. Why Allah keeps saying we? What this we is about? Allah keeps saying we. It just means him. But why he's saying we? Um, because he can. Oh, but if, if he's one, why is he saying we? Did, did he use the wrong Arabic word? He can say we, he can say anything he wants. He can say me. No, but you see, me. you Muslim, you keep saying that Allah, he speaks good Arabic, right? Yes. All right. Is it right to say we, but I am just one? Or this is wrong. If I am one person, why I keep saying okay. we? Um. Sometimes, you know, you can say we sometimes, you know? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I got it, yeah. But I'm repeating my question. If I am just one, why I keep saying we? If he is one, that means this we is fake. He's lying. Why Why you are saying to me we? I mean, Arabic is so clear. Either you are many or you are one. What the problem if Allah he don't say we? Is it going to be a problem? Why he think he is? I heard Muslims saying that this is because it's a majestic. Do you agree with that? Yes. Wonderful. That means Allah don't like to be one. It's not majestic for God to be one. It's majestic for God to be three and more. So Allah, he don't feel good about being one. So he decided to say we, maybe that will make him more respected. Maybe he's lonely. Like the movie, there's a movie, it's called The Perfect Host. This guy, he sent letters to himself. He sent postcards. He make dishes in the table, but there's nobody there except him. We are eating, but he is only alone. We are talking, but he is only alone. So, your, your God is mentally ill. He's not. Well, here we go. Um, Let me show you other proof in the front of you. Do you see it says here Allah is the best of the creators? Yes, He is the best of creators. Well, how many creators there is? Um. He's talking about everyone else, you know. Like we what everyone people. else? If there's only one creator, what everyone else? Is that McDonald? Me. I can create. No, you cannot. Me. No, you cannot. The creator is the one who created what does not exist. If you make a bicycle, no. No, this is not a this is not a creator. You are building a house. You are not creating a house. I can create. Uh, I can create money. I can create a job. You cannot. I can create. No, no, those are not creation. This have to do. You see, the Quran give definition for what a creation, and your God he used the word zubab, which means fly. So the one who can create a fly is the one who called the creator. The Quran says so. So don't may go there. You know. The one. Chapter twenty two, verse number. 73 why you worship somebody I mean you, you, can, you worship gods who cannot even create a fly this is what the creator mean 
if you can create a fly and above you are a creator can you creation is not about making bicycle don't fool yourself same time if you go to the previous verse Allah was speaking about creation of the baby so when I say Allah the best of the creator there's me there, that mean there's other creators who make babies too you see if I'm talking about making bicycle and then I say I made a bicycle I put the tire I put the frame I put the light I put etc I put the seat uh, okay and I am the best of the creators so obviously I'm talking about what based on your logic creating a bicycle but I just confirm that there's many creators and I am the best if Allah compare himself to you that means Allah is a fool because is it Allah who created you anyway? God, He created Himself with the one who He created Him. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it your Muslim who says you cannot compare Allah to anything? Isn't it the Quran says nothing like Allah, which is a verse taken from the Old Testament? Nothing like God? So how He says is the best of the creators? If there's nothing like God, then there, this, this verse is, is wrong. Because simply, it's a fabrication. Is it true that... It's just, uh, it's just a mistranslation. My friend, you speak Arabic. What translation? <laughs> I mean, this is can be said by somebody who don't know Arabic. You know Arabic very well. And you, your name is Muslim from Mecca. How is Mecca doing these days? Fantastic. Are you kissing black stones? Are you kissing the black stone? Look, kissing the black stone is something more than Ah, why he, why he did? Why he did? Because it's to praise Allah. Ah, so if you kiss the black stone, you praise Allah? Yes. As I heard, it is different reason. I heard that the black stone erase your sin. Yes, and it erases your sin as well, yes. So I thought Allah only erased sin. So Muslims now, they are pagan. They kiss a stone and they believe a stone erased sin. Yes, it does. Mm. So is Allah is the best who erased sin? Or he and the black stone is the best who erased sin? Allah gives the power to the stone to erase sin. That's deep. That's very deep. How the stone now can erase sin? It's a stone. Because Allah gave it the power. I heard that the black stone became black because of the blood of the women from their vagina. What? No, that's not true. Do you want to bet with me? No, that's disgusting. That's not true. What? That's not true. Okay. I heard that the black stone used to be white, correct? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, and how we came back? Um, because of worship, you know, people kiss it, you know. Hmm. So, the black stone was white, and sin make you black, correct? Uh, it's just wear and tear, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, so he, the black stone was white like milk, right? Yes. And the sin made the black stone black. Yes. So sin caused you to be black. Huh? Huh? So sin caused you to be black. No. What? You just say that. You say that the black stone used to be white and the sin made it black. Why not the green? Why not the blue? Why not red? Black, it 
It's just a color, you know? What, what color? <laughs> well, I know it's a color. So the question is, why sin and to be black? Uh, why not? Why, it's, why, why Allah did not send the send the black stone black and then the sin make it white? Because the black is sin and white is uh, not sin. All right. I want you to read this with me. I will show you this in the screen. And because you speak Arabic, that will help me. Atlas al Quran, do you see it? Do you see it? Yes. All right, it says here in the book of Al Kashaf, Tafsir, verse number one, chapter 127, Gabriel, Jibreel came with the black stone from the sky. And it mentioned that it was in the Mount of Abu Qubais. As long as you are from Mecca, then you know Abu Qubais, correct? Yes. It's a small mount close to the Kaaba. And then the mount split and the black stone came from it. And it was hidden in it during the time of the flood of Noah, correct? Does it say that? Yes, it does. Okay, and then it says, and it was like a pearl, but when a white pearl from heaven, but when the ministration blood in the time of Jahiliya, it touch it, it become black. Does it say that? It become dark. It become uh, black. Yeah. Yeah. What what make it black? The women the blood from their vagina. Is that correct? I'll have to look for the sources for this one. Well, I, I'm, I'm showing you this, I'm, my friend, I'm showing you the screen. Did I show you the screen? Did I show you the reference? Did I show yeah, the... I need to know where this, where, where this, where you got this from. I just, it says in the front of you, the book of Al Kashaf, where number one, this is Tafsir. Yeah, but tafsir, but tafsir is, you know, anyone can make tafsir. Ah, anyone can make tafsir, anyone can make Quran, anyone can make whatever, you know, anyone. <laughs> That's a good one. So, uh, the you know, there's tons of books. It's not only this, my friend. Let me show you the one. Here we go. Let me pause the first link. Well, let's go here. This is a different book. The book name Majma al Bahrain. I will post the link so maybe the admin next time we look for it, you guys can post it for people. And please share it in Rumble and in YouTube. Here it says. It's given you a lot of information about the Kaaba, about the black stone, sorry. That it used to go, the black stone, it used to be a ruby from the rubies of heaven and used to have two doors. One made of Zumurud. One is east and one is west. And then Allah, he says to Adam, go down and I will send to you something you go around. The same they go around my throne. So Adam, he went to the, to the ground and he went to, to India. And the angels, they received him there. And he did uh, Hajj, Adam did Hajj. And then here it says, <clears throat> read with me. And the black stone was hidden in Abu Qubais Mount. And it used to be white stone or white ruby from heaven. So when the women of blood 
from ministration touch it in the time before Islam became black. You need more sources? Yeah, look, I can't believe this. Huh? What do you mean you can't believe it? I is I is the black stone. Well, it is you know. So, so, <laughs> did this mean? Did this mean the blood? Be honest with me. Sorry? Did you smell any blood when you kiss it? No, it smelled very nice. It smelled very nice because they spray around it all the time. Always there's a guard next to it. He have a biff buff, the one you use them for for in the toilet in the in the bathroom. You know. Okay. Yeah. So what smells very nice. As you see, it became black because of the blood of women coming from their vagina. Is it true that women and men? Yes, what's wrong with that? Sure well, because that. the black stone is a vagina. The black stone is made in the shape of a vagina. Because this is the vagina god, the god of fertility. So people who don't have kids, they go when they have their period. The women, if they, if a woman have her period, obviously she is not having a baby. So what she do? She go and she touch the black stone, hoping that that will make the god of fertility, Allah or Baal, or the or seen, make her have a child. I'm just trying to translate, guys. The page is not translating with me. I'm just trying to show. Wait, did you say seen from your seen? Seen from your seen, exactly. Seen, seen or sin is the moon god. I don't know, for some reason, this page is not allowing me to translate. I tried everything. Yeah, it's not working. What do you think, my friend? You want to stay as a Muslim after what all what you learned today? I will have to go to my Imam and ask him about this. Why you don't call your Imam right now to join us? Tell him there's a guy here. His name is a Christian Prince. He knew more than all the Imams, including Imam Murra. What do you, you think? Just stay up busy right now. Are they are busy doing what? Nikah. What they are busy. What they do, I mean, what those imams do, do for a living? Nothing. They teach kids. Uh, they teach kids what? How to touch the black stone? Listen, I think that's, uh, you know, that area used to be pagan. I understand. It used to be pagan. But now it is. No longer pagan. Well, your prophet isn't it? Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kissed the black stone? Can you show me the verse from the Quran that says Allah told him to kiss the black stone? There's no verse, but uh, so why he kiss it? There is no verse. So why he kiss it? Because it's a barakah. Blessing kissing the. So Muslims are pagans, you know, kissing stones, worshiping stones. Pray in front of a stone. You bow around the stone. You. It's you... not pagan if you, if your prophet did it. Well, he's a pagan prophet. <laughs> he's a pagan prophet, and as you see, this is what the Arab used to do. This is why the people around the Kaaba used totally to go naked, right? Until now, you Muslim, you go naked around the Kaaba. You wear a sheet. The sheet. This is an Indian sheet. This is a religion coming from India. This is another thing. Yes, we yes, are naked. What's wrong with that? Well, because this is what the Hindus they dress. The Hindu priest they have their own kaaba, they do their own hajj, and they have a black stone which present the penis and the vagina in their kaaba. And the black stone is the remain stone of the vagina. But today is no longer that. We don't do that anymore. See, you just said that today is no longer, but that means this is what it is. Who cares? It is this. You do, it, yesterday, today no, you do. No, you do the same. You are doing the same as the pagan did. 
So don't tell me you don't do no more. You do the same. You go around the Kaaba. You go naked. You dress the same as the Hindu. You have a vagina and you have a penis. And you claim that the Kaaba is the one, uh, 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 is the house of God where the black stone, uh, you know, uh, and you said you are agreeing that black stone erase your sin. So who need God? Nobody. God gave it the power to erase. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I will ask my chef and I will ask my imam and I will come back. All right.